Hello, my name is Jason Hunt. I'm a professional AutoCAD trainer, and I run the only land survey drafting program in the world. Today, I wanted to give you guys an insight into why land surveying right now is the best industry for CAD drafting and how you guys can take advantage of this if you're trying to either get hired locally or on the freelance market. Take a look. So why is land survey drafting the best industry right now as a CAD drafter? Well, there's a number of reasons, and I'm going to shortly get into that. But right now, if you are a AutoCAD professional, you're looking to get an AutoCAD, you want to make a freelance income, or you're looking to get hired locally as soon as possible because you need a job, land surveying is one of the best industries to do so. The reason is you've probably never heard of it. Now, I'm going to highlight all the benefits of why you would want to get into this industry today and why it stands out as one of the best fields as a CAD drafter, whether you're trying to work in person or remote. Um, reason number one, the industry is about to boom. So there's a huge retirement wave incoming because of the simple fact of this industry. Most of the people in this industry are super old and there's going to be a wave of them outgoing, which means there's gonna be a new wave of people incoming. Um, this is right now is a very good opportunity for young professionals. Um, even if you're in your 20s, your 30s, even your 40s, does not matter. This is a great field to be simply because of the fact that you can get hired locally as fast as possible, or you can go freelance and make even better money than most of these other fields will allow with a lot of less, a lot less of the stresses that you would normally deal with as a freelance drafter. So simple math, um, supply and demand curves. Land surveying right now has 45,000 licensed professionals um, compared to professional engineers. Right now in the country, it's about 930,000. Uh, with the approximate age of the licensed surveyor being 60 years old, in the next five years, half will retire or pass, leaving approximately 27,000 jobs uh, open as far as licensed surveyors. That's a lot of jobs. Now, here's the thing to think about. Um, surveying, that's not just the entire industry. It's not just 45,000. Those are the guys who hold the licenses that allow them to start the businesses, sign and seal these documents. There's a ton of people underneath them that support this industry, whether they're a drafter, they work out in the field collecting data, they're project managers, GIS, does not matter. All of those people work underneath this umbrella of this licensing structure. So even once these licensed surveyors go away, there's going to be a huge need for people who have the skill sets to back them up because everyone that works underneath them are going to have to get more efficient or the pay is going to get just as good, even more. So this reduction in labor is going to cause an increased demand across the entire industry. This is going to double the price of most of the labor within this field, including drafting. So who needs a surveyor? Well, everyone. Um, if you're buying or selling a home, if you're doing new or old construction, permits, records, developments, and roadway work, like Department of Transportation, um, and then city and you know county rules, does not matter. Everybody needs a survey at some point in time. You know, Really what these surveyors are doing are showing where something is in the world relative to something else. Now, it's a lot more complicated than that, uh, but the drafting work's really not that difficult. Uh, but I just wanted to let you know that the demand is there. It's never going to go away. And even in times of economic hardship, um, like during the uh, 2020 pandemic, uh, surveying was still going on even rapidly. In fact, that's sometimes times where they find uh, that development happens even faster because there's less uh, holdups and other people trying to do things at the exact same time. That means that projects get pushed along a lot quicker. So uh, why are surveys big money? Well, these surveys are expensive. Um, they require a lot of man hours for people to go out and collect the data. They require a lot of expertise and you know surveying uh, to happen from the surveyor's end to make sure that this project is well done. And then finally, the, the CAD drafters. It's very high skill for the type of work that we do as drafters to get this piece of paper finished and out the door. So here's the thing. Um, as a drafter, you really don't need much. You need a computer. Uh, you need the CAD software. You need some know-how on how the surveying drafting actually works. Um, but there's really no heavy lifting. There's no fancy equipment. Uh, and you know drafts weigh literally nothing. These pieces of paper uh, they don't weigh much. You can send them through email and they get delivered instantly. So anytime you have a field that isn't reliant on some sort of product that has some weight to it, uh, and it's a service that is very highly valuable and very, very in need, that's just a really good thing for people. So uh, drafting land surveying is very cheap to do. You don't need much to get started, just a good computer, copy a cat, and you're pretty much ready to go. So uh, you don't need to go out in the field. This is the thing. If you are a drafter out in surveying, uh, you don't ever have to step foot in the field. Sometimes it helps to learn this sort of industry, but uh, here's the thing. Most of the outside work, that's field crew job. As a drafter, this is a very high skill, uh, low labor position. The guys that go out in the field, it's a low skill, high uh, labor position. Now, again, I'm not discounting these dudes. They work super hard, and some of them are absolutely geniuses, some of the party chiefs and guys that work underneath them. Um, you know, Very, very practically smart. 
Uh, but as a drafter, you're getting close to the people that matter most, which is the licensed surveyor and project managers. And so whether you're working in the office or you're a freelancer in this, uh, you have much more pull on what actually goes on day to day for getting these projects out the door. And you have a higher effect when it comes to what your capabilities are, because you can draft a lot faster than somebody else and you can produce way better than somebody else. Um, and you can keep up with probably multiple field crew on your own as a drafter with the data coming in simply because you have a computer at your fingertips. Um, so by sticking to the drafting side, you're focusing on a specialized skill that's going to be always in demand. Um, you know, the guys that work out in the field that are, you know, just starting out, you're digging holes. It's very low labor. Uh, it's very high, high labor, low skill, but uh, it's, it's intense. And, but as a, as a drafter, we don't have to deal with any of that. And so you're leveraging your brain. And I always say that it's better to make money with your brain than it is with your brawn. So uh, you can't work outside forever. It's better to switch into a field where you're making some, uh, some cheese with your noggin, if that makes sense. So leave all the heavy lifting to the field crews. So future-proof career. Why is surveying so good right now? Why is it not going to get competed by other industries? Well, number one, uh, human expertise in surveying is still king. If you are going to think about industries that are get outcompeted by AI, surveying is not one of them. We can utilize AI to speed up the monotonous stuff, but when it comes to what we actually do on the computer, there are so many decisions that only a human could make that require some sort of artisticness to it, a soul perhaps to it. Uh, you could not replicate it uh, with some cold machinery that is uh, artificial intelligence. So if you're scared about being outcompeted by AI in surveying, don't be. It's not going to happen. Um, it's one of the oldest professions. This has been around forever. Uh, George Washington was one of the first licensed surveyors in the United States. Um, surveying used to be a very aristocratic sort of uh, sort of profession where these guys would go out and in the field and figure out where properties are by laying out stones, rocks, trees, whatever, and then they would go back home and do the math on pen and paper using uh, you know angles and trigonometry. Uh, pretty cool stuff. But this field's always in demand. It's never going to go away. Even throughout the year of a life cycle, there is no slow season surveying. Um, it's not really affected by, uh, you know, worldly outcomes. In fact, uh, as things get, you know, worse around the world, you know, potentially if there's like a slowdown in industries or, you know, there's financial disruption, surveying is still going to be there because that's actually an opportunity for people to build faster and cheaper. And so more surveys actually happen in uh, times of economic hardship, which might be a little interesting for you. Um, next up, uh, learning fast, earning big, accelerate learning paths. So here's the thing. If you want to work inside of an office as a licensed surveyor, we can absolutely help you do that. And, uh, our 10 week surveying program goes through the entire process of doing this. Uh, and, and here's the thing. If you want to get into one of these companies, a lot of times these licensed surveyors and surveying companies will pay for your education to continue moving th up through the ladder, uh, to eventually go after your surveyor's license. If that's something that you want to do, but even not, there are still certifications that you can take where you're going to get paid to take them paid for taking them and passing them. And then also you're going to get a raise for, uh, you know, getting to that next level and they'll pay for that entire thing simply because it looks good for different projects where they need a certain amount of certifications, uh, sort of uh, distributed throughout their company, uh, high starting salaries. Here's the thing. If you want to go work in an office, uh, as a licensed surveyor, you can get paid very well on average right now in the office, about 25 to $35 an hour for the people that come outside of our program and then get hired locally as a, uh, mid-range to high-end survey drafter. If you want to do the math on that, here's what I say. Uh, working full-time, 40 hours a week, all right, even on the low end, $25 an hour. Go ahead and add two extra hours a day of overtime, and you will notice that your salary significantly increases by about ten dollars to $20,000 simply because of that extra bits of overtime. Now, I'm going to talk more about ways that we can make overtime more feasible as a drafter uh, in an upcoming slide, but that just kind of gives you an understanding that even if you are in a position where you want to get hired and make money ASAP needs something stable. Drafting in office for a surveyor is a great place to start. Unlimited overtime options. This is what I'm talking about. So in surveying right now, most companies are 16 weeks behind on their survey drafts. What does that mean? Well, these customers are waiting for their projects and the uh, surveyors can't get them out the door fast enough. And so if you can go in there and say, listen, I will get you guys caught up. Uh, you have a unlimited amount of work that you can possibly do for these companies. And they're more than happy to pay for it and pay you very well for it because you are helping them. Um, so if you're in a field where you feel like you're being stunted, you're not getting enough hours, surveying is the exact opposite of that, where you can do literally as much as you want and boost your earnings and creativity simply because you can put more effort in and there's more demand for it. So freelancing, here's the opportunity of a lifetime right here. Um, here is what I did. Uh, demand for skilled freelancers are out the door. You can make a lot more money as a freelancer and you can work from anywhere. I started as a freelance drafter and I made extremely good money 
uh, just working for licensed surveyors on a freelance basis. On average, uh, you can triple your income simply because you're going freelance. And that this is just a numbers game. In the same hour that you would get paid, let's just say $30 an hour, you can charge $100 to $150 for the exact same project on a project basis. So as a freelancer, we try to go after projects, not hourly rates. You can still do hourly rates and get paid well for it, but project basis where you make really good money. As a flat rate, these clients are more than happy with it because you're not running up a timesheet, but then also they know their margins. So the amount of money they have to spend to go out in the field, trucks, gas, whatever, now they have a fixed rate on the office side and they absolutely love that. So you can charge a lot more. Um, working from anywhere is also the big point here. Same thing goes for working in an office. If you want to work in an office, uh, you can potentially end up going free, uh, going remotely with this company uh, or whatever company that you're working for. That's instead of the two hour commute that you spend going to and from work, that's time that you can spend doing overtime to make an extra 10 to $20,000 a year right there. But even working from anywhere as a freelancer, now I don't even have to be home. I could be on my laptop, I could be on a cruise, and I can be anywhere in the world and I can make money simply by having CAD and loading it up, getting the job files from these surveyors, uh, getting it completed and sending it off to them and getting paid. So clients are key. This is the thing about the surveying industry. You know, who is our ideal client? Well, it's licensed surveyors. They're dream clients. Why? Because these are not one-off gigs. These are high paying recurring jobs that keep on your schedule and they're very consistent. Um, so in many other fields, you're constantly hustling to get another client, architecture, mechanical drafting, sometimes civil, uh, parts design, doesn't matter, interior design. You're going to get a client, you're gonna get paid, and then you have to go find another client. Surveying, that's not that's not the case. You get these guys for a very, very long time. So if you're looking for reliable, great work, they're gonna make sure that you keep coming back around. They're gonna keep giving you work almost every single day. So um, for starters, if you are working with a licensed surveyor on an annual basis, on average in the last year, we've seen every person that has gone through our program and landed one licensed surveyor client with us. We are seeing each one for an annual contract for an extra uh, amount of forty to sixty thousand dollars annually. Now again, that's not just forty hours a week. That could be fifteen to twenty. So you could have two clients, three clients even, and make over a hundred thousand dollars a year simply because you work with a licensed surveyor. You get projects from them, and you get paid really well uh, to do it too. So you really only need two clients to make a six-figure income right there. So just two. Um, I hit this milestone when I was a senior in college. I had two surveyors that I worked for. I made one hundred twenty thousand dollars this year. And it's very much possible for anybody else to do this. I've had many people inside of my program get two, get three uh, clients, do it while they still have a main job and get one freelance client, make over $100,000 a year. It's all very possible. You just have to put in the work and make sure you have the skills for it. So um, if you're not looking to go all in, you can do that too. You can go as a full-time working at whatever other job that you want to work at, get one licensed surveyor and freelance surveying client and make really good money. You can make anywhere between three to $7,000 extra per month just because you're able to draft for this person outside of work and on the weekend. So if you're looking to make a little bit of extra cash, great place to be. Here's the flexibility. Um, you can do this from anywhere. Uh, it's your own schedule. Uh, you can you know, fit people in. We obviously teach people how to you know, uh, work for themselves and block out a schedule where it works really good for these licensed surveyors and for you. But if you're a college student, a busy parent, you're someone with a nine to five, you're looking to make some extra income, this field is incredibly adaptable for you. So uh, what's the key to all this? Well, it's building relationships with these licensed surveyors. Um, they're your ticket, basically. So by delivering high quality results and being dependable, right, uh, you're able to lock in these really long-term partnerships that could potentially go on for years and years and years, making your freelancing a lot more stable and a lot more profitable. So unlike the stress of freelancing in any other field, this really eliminates all of it. Taking control of your career. So here's kind of the major milestones as a land survey drafter. Number one, you're going from a CAD drafter to a land survey drafter, landing these clients and becoming a CAD drafting expert in this field. And then number two, what's the horizons after that? Well, you can launch your own drafting firm. This is what I did. I hired uh, you know, uh, incoming freshmen and you know, sophomore college engineering students who knew CAD. I taught them how to do surveying and I was able to build up a business doing this where I was able to step away from the drafting myself and really run this as sort of an organization where I get the clients that come in through the door. I have these relationships. My employees draft the work for me. I get paid. I pay them out. And we all make money and everyone's very happy. So that's what's really cool about this field is that, you know, unlike other fields where somebody is losing money, you are making money for the licensed surveyor. You are making money for yourself. And as you start a business, you're making money for your employees. So um, that's a really cool thing about this market and this economy in surveying. So my program, how it works, um, very straightforward. This program is designed to set you up for success, whether you're looking to get hired locally, whether you're already qualified in CAD and you're looking to dive into freelancing. So here's how it works. I have my land survey drafting program. It's the only land survey drafting program online 
in the world, period, industry and all. We focus on teaching the public land system, surveying theory, and then geomatics. Um, this is the foundation of what you'll need to draft in land surveying. But then you're able to get hands on by working on real projects that have been converted to lesson plans. So that way, as you go through the weekly homework, you are actually able to finish these surveys, print them out and walk into an office and get hired like that. You can use the exact same piece of paper to go freelance and make money and use that as marketing on the other side of things. So whether you need a portfolio, you're looking to get hired locally, uh, you're trying, you work in surveying out in the field and you're trying to get into drafting, this is the perfect program for you. And then finally, I have my freelance program. So if you are looking to freelance and you already are in a field where you're an expert, great. I can go ahead and take you and teach you how to go after clients using a paid ads funnel and a social funnel system to get you clients within the span of the program with direct help landing them in your field. And if you come through my survey program and you want to learn the entire gambit, take my survey program, take my freelance program and all the work that you do inside of the survey program plugs into it. So by the time you are confident and comfortable with the work that you're doing, you already have clients lining up, waiting to get uh, your work done and do work for you and you, and you to get paid uh, just as a freelancer within surveying and CAD. So um, what's really cool about this? Uh, this is giving you all the tools and strategies and confidence to build up a client pipeline that actually works. A lot of people, they stumble into these positions where they get a client and you know maybe off of a friend or like a, an old boss or something like that, they maybe lose them. It goes good for a couple of years, but then it turns sour. How do you replicate that? This is what we're trying to teach people how to do is to make that magic every single time repeatedly where you can get in front of the right people, get paid properly, and then finally uh, continue on and build something else if you want to. Um, so this program is about action. You're going to learn the skills, build the portfolio, and you have a plan in place to get hired and start freelancing. By the time you're done, you're ready to make your move.